Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. My name is Yaziel and today we want to work a little bit more on our chat client. Therefore I opened three clients. We're going to log in. We start with the 2.2 and um, we wait a sec. And you see just normal the guys here. And if we do something like return, we can write and let's bring in another client it's 3.3 and we see or we saw 3.3 has the name 3.3 and uh, we got the message 3.3 is logged on and if we go for third client and wait there a sec the both clients get the message uh, Sam is logged in, and if we re push return on Sam and type something hi there, it will be on both clients. So um, we want to uh, go in the first part and add the username to the messages. And in the second part of the video, we want to make sure that we have a list here um, and the window is full, uh, that the list will be, um, how should I say that, uh, will be minimized uh, or shortened a little bit. So the next message uh, will be, will be uh, shown. Well, start with the uh, name at first and um, the name at first we close that and go for our unity project and we open the uh, my chat and the my chat manager and um, what we need to do in the uh, my chat manager is next to our string we have to send the player name and um, for that we need to get our player name somewhere so let's start with uh, going uh, to add the string into our functions and that's just easy we go to the send set chat message on the my chat manager and uh, add a string here and then we going to use instead of direct send a message with the data, we're going to make a writer. And uh, you know already how to do that. It's just if uh, connected and then using dark riff writer uh, with the name of writer or whatever you like, is a new dark riff writer. And then we write uh, two messages in there. And after that, we send the message as we did before, just not only with the underscore message, so we use the writer here. So now we are sure we send uh, the string to the, to the uh, network. And next is, of course, we have to read that. And for that, it's just easy. We go in our on data handler function and we using the dark reef reader uh, where we receive the message and we get the string underscore player name is a reader read string and the underscore message is the reader read string also and um, you have to make sure that these both in the same uh, order so first player name then send message so first player name then message and after that we invoke our chat message and uh, this time we do in the message and the player name that means we have to go and change our um, event so we're going to delegate and in the delegate we uh, go here and add another variable <coughs> uh, sorry about that to our event delegate so that's just the same that's all we have to do we have to send this player name and we have to receive the player name uh, next we have to go into my chat and now there is a problem where we want to get our 
our names from. So let us think about where our name is. Let's uh, pull up the system here and we look at the 2.2. And we're going to see when it start up. Come on, man. And uh, we're going to see here in our player. We see here there is our player name. And um, later on, we also could uh, put in the network ID or the user ID if we want to send private messages. But first, we are only interested in our player name. And uh, since this whole construct is uh, built on the fly, we have to wait until we know that this is ready. Fortunately, we got a message for that or an event. Let's go for player manager for a sec. I hope it's in the player manager. It's in, no, it's in player. And in its player, it's called my on my Uma ready. So we got a f uh, event already. And this event is fired up. Let's see for, you see here, we will make the player and if the player is ready, we using this function. And um, so all we have to do is go into our start function and uh, using the name space player and using the on my Uma ready and add ourselves to that event and make a function get player game object so we're going down here and say void get player game object and we're going to have an, a variable of course we have to go here in our private part and set uh, uh, the myspace uh, or the namespace player uh, dot player uh, as a function and the name is my player and so here down here on this function we've just fill it up so it's just game object dot find player dot get component player dot player and uh, so we know we have these player inside now and we have access to that so we have these line my set chat manager send meshes um, log on message we had that just here but we can't, uh, no, we had that here in the start function. We can't use that in the start function. Why? Because we don't know anything about the player in this moment. So we have to wait until the event is fired. And if the event is fired, we uh, get the player, uh, the game object here, and then we can use the chat message, send chat message, and we just send log on and uh, we send our player name uh, in the second string we just implemented in uh, my chat manager and therefore we have to go in our uh, update function and in the update function uh, here on this part where we check if the input field is empty or not we're going to have uh, the my chat manager dot send uh, chat message, and here also we have to add the my player my player name, and uh, of course in the add message we have to add the chat input field. We already have that, but we have to implement my player dot player name. This is the local stuff as we had that before, and. Uh, here, of course, we have to add the string my player name into the add message, which is, which is the message also for the um, event we have got on top here. And um, well, you have also to um, change the uh, thing here. So you have the player name as first and then add something like uh, these or slash or whatever you like uh, for splitting the na player name from the message and that's basically all for the function we had uh, or i showed you in the next part we want to work on these add message um, 
In the moment, we just add uh, to these text output field uh, one line, next line, next line, next line, and so on. And we make want to make sure that it's not uh, overflown with lines. So we have to shorten that and put it back together. So to show you the second part, um, to make it clear, I um, got nine lines over here. And if I going for the tens line, and I put in a zero for the next line, you see it will be shortened and only the last five lines will be shown. And that's quite easy. Um, we go in our MyChat C Sharp script and we add a private string builder and I called it underscore message uh, string builder SB and uh, it's a new string builder so that string is just empty and for that to use you have to go uh, for the namespace system dot text and also we need uh, a private int it's the max chat lines uh, you see here are the 10 and a private int uh, the line to delete uh, line to del I called it and then you just go into our add uh, message and there you just leave these uh, message in it's just add uh, a new line to our output text field and then we go and uh, have a new field of strings and I called it message lists and um, I got line for line out of the chat output text or text and I used the function split and um, it's a new char or field of chars and uh, we separate that on the uh, new line um, column. So we just look into our uh, text field and every time we find one uh, backslash n, we just get in a no new row. And then we go and check in our message list dot length. If it's greater than our max chat lines, then we jump into these if statement and uh, we just first clear the uh, underscore message string builder and set the length just to zero. And if we have done that, we go into a for loop and we start it with uh, int i is equal to um, underscore line to delete or line to del. Uh, so we don't start at zero here. We start at five, 10, 20 or whatever you defined. And then we go and set uh, or uh, ask if e i is uh, lesser than message list dot length and we have to um, go one shorter here because uh, of the zero and uh, we just say uh, i plus plus that and after that we just uh, go and append the message list i so we start if we go here we start with the sixth line uh, with yeah with the sixth line so it's uh, we ignore zero one two three four and I starts with five and five gonna here in our message string builder. And then we append uh, a new line. I uh, implemented this uh, with system.environment.new line. You also could just uh, add these here. And after that, we set the chat output text.text .text equal to the uh, underscore message string builder. So that's all for the video. If you liked it, as always, hit the like button, and if you liked it even more, just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you want to support me, uh, just go to the, my Patreon page and uh, pledge to my course. As a bonus, you get all um, source code from all my tutorials, so hope to see you soon. You're Yaziel. Happy night shift.